So let's look at some examples of adding and see if we can visualize this. If you, if you can get this on your own, you may want to show this to your kid, but let's take a look at this and see if you can visualize what, what addition is. And you know, this could be in kindergarten or pre-K, but you definitely want to make sure that you get this in kindergarten as you move forward because it'll help you move forward very quickly with addition. But let's look on the left-hand side. We have four blocks here. We have one, two, three, four. So we have four blocks plus one block. So if you ask yourself, like, what is four plus one, right? So you can simply say I have one block two, three, four, five. So I have one plus four. So four essentially plus one is gonna give me five. So that's very easy to kind of conceptualize and kind of get the hang of it. But let's look at some more and see if we can get it. And see I have three blocks here. So I have three blocks on the left plus two more blocks right there. So what is three plus two? What's one, two, three, and then four, five plus two more. And that's going to be equal to, obviously, three plus two is going to be equal to five. Let's get the hang of it. Let's do some more. So I have three right here on the left. As we kind of, you can probably guess this on your own right now. Three plus, plus one, one block, that's going to give me one, two, three blocks, plus one more is going to be four. So three plus one is equal to four. So let's, let's go ahead. Let's get some more practicing. So let's also look at this. So this is an easy one. You could probably get this one. This is two blocks right here plus one block. So what is two plus one is three. Two plus one is three. That's easy for you to kind of visualize and to get. Let's look at some more. So here, this is going to be one you can probably guess up, up front as well. We got two plus another two blocks. So how many blocks do we have in total? One, two, then another two, there's three and four. So two plus two is equal to four. That's a great one to look at. So let's, let's look at one more right here. So I have one, one block on the left, and you can probably guess this as you're getting the hang of it, plus four blocks. So what is one plus four? If I have one plus two, two three, four, five. One plus four is five. So it's really easy for you to get the hang of it and kind of start to visualize this. One plus four is five. But let's look at this a different way. Let's see if we could do this without the block. Let's see if we can look at it in slightly a different way. Let's look at this right here and see if we can guess this one. What's one plus zero? Nothing, right? Imagine if you had the blocks. You have one block but no blocks. Tell me what you have. Well, one plus zero is one. Very good if you guessed that. Let's look at another. Let's take it, take it a step forward. What's one plus one? One block plus one block. You can probably guess that, that that's two. Very good if you, if you guess it, that's probably two, you got that. So let's look at it again, one plus two. Let's just build on this. What's one plus two? You probably guessed it, that's three. Easy for you to guess right there, one plus two is three. Let's look at it again on another one. One plus three, what's one plus three? One plus three is four. That's another good one for you to guess. Let's take a look at another one, just one more real quick. One plus four, what's one plus four? That's five. That's very good if you guessed it. So if you start to do this, you can take this and you can apply this to other things. So try it in your kindergarten class, try it in preschool. If you can do it with blocks, you start to learn a number of different ways and you're gonna be great at addition.